Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and in today's video I'm going to talk to you guys about the new mass kiosk that has been brought into Destiny with the 2.4.1 patch today with the hard mode raid. So if you make your way over to the left side of the tower where you normally would find your emblems and your new shader at kiosks, they have actually added another holiday items kiosk, which for now at least is just filled with the masks from the Festival of the Lost event. So if you guys are not familiar with the Festival of the Lost event, it is a little event that comes every Halloween with Destiny, but last year was the first time that we actually saw masks come with the update as well. So for all those people last year that got to collect their masks and keep them over time with their paper glue, they were actually able to keep those and everyone would just keep them in their vault and everything, and that did take up a lot of vault space, and with the vault space issues nowadays in Destiny, because they haven't added any, in the recent couple of updates, there's actually not much space to be had. So, in order to free up some more space in your vaults, they have added in these kiosks so that you don't have to leave all these masks in your vault. Instead, just like your exotic weapons and armor that you don't use all the time, you can just scrap them down and then pick them up at any time later from the kiosk, making things a lot easier on you and your vault space. And that way you can just keep your inventory and your vault nice and clear. So that way when you actually go into the hard mode raid and into these new activities, you will actually have the space to do it. So. Probably next Tuesday is when we will see the Festival of the Lost update come back so that you guys can go out and collect your masks as well. Now I'm not really too sure why the Burning Skull mask is not in the kiosk. I think that was just a very exclusive mask and I don't think we're going to see that one return this year with the Rise of Iron. However, if you were lucky enough to get it last year from one of the packages, you can still definitely keep the one you have. But I would definitely not ever dismantle that thing because there's not a guarantee as to whether or not you will actually get it back. But I'm pretty hyped guys, stay tuned. Next Tuesday we should be seeing these masks return with the 2016 Festival of the Lost event, and I will definitely be trying to grind out a lot of these masks, as you guys can see. Last year I didn't really play too much, and I only got two masks. I do want to try and get as many masks as I can. These are definitely some of the most exclusive items in Destiny at the moment, and I definitely do want to try to collect those as much as possible, and just get as many of them as I can before the update is gone. So for all you guys who wanted to recollect your masks from last year that maybe dismantled them and was really mad that you guys just couldn't get them back, just head over to the kiosk now, you guys should be able to get them. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Unfortunately, there's not any new emblems or anything. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later on today in the hard mode raid. Peace.